Their nickel packages, their dime packages, and how they deal with Jahan Dotson becomes a bigger problem. Penn State won the toss and deferred, so Indiana elected to receive the opening kickoff. James Franklin says he does think it is the best he's had in his eight years here. Panics his pass, batted down at the line of scrimmage by Nick Tarbert. In all directions, vertically and horizontally, they want to make the defense defend as much landscape as possible. Clifford couldn't find anybody and tried to go tonight in the warm-up, and they decided he could not. That's a big blow. Clifford zings one, trying to get it to Dotson. Everybody up except one defensive lineman. Panix throws, and it is caught. Hendershot hangs on this time and is out almost to midfield. Guy in coverage, number 13, got a little lost. Hendershot ran by him, and Michael Penix found the open against Western Kentucky. Deep drop by Penix and a deep throw. Single coverage and it's way out of bounds. No chance for Javon Swinton. There's blame to go around everywhere in the problem so far. There's John Lovett. And right on cue, he's dropped for a one-yard loss by Ryder Anderson. And the ejection of McFadden in that game for targeting against Cincinnati really turned that game around. Clifford under duress, managed to escape, and now he's off to the races with a first down and more. Chopped down as he crossed the 35-yard line. Because McFadden is going to get into the backfield, but he's out of control, and Sean Clifford ran for over 100 yards last year. Ran for 13 there. He fired a bullet to Jahan Dotson, who has 11 more. Noah Kane running room outside and another first down. Excuse me, love it. Chase McSorley and Michael Robinson ahead of them, well ahead of them, both with more than 1,600 rushing yards. Love it. Nice play by Micah McFadden. He runs so well. He takes a good angle. He makes plays sideline to sideline. He's an excellent blitzer. Well, the coach saw McFadden play quite a bit in high school, practice quite a bit. They convert on fourth and seven. Second and ten at the Indiana 24. Clifford given a pocket, and the intended receiver goes down. North of the border, although Luketa came down to the stakes to play at Mercyhurst Prep in Erie, PA. Noah Kane on first and goal, dropped for a loss by Demarcus Elliott. Down so quiet when Penn State's about to snap the ball. Clifford has running room, decides to throw it. Good decision, it's a touchdown. I'm not saying that Micah McFadden would have made a better play, but he was on the sideline right now on this critical play. This is Aaron Casey, number 46, and he kind of gets caught in no man's land. Do I come after the quarterback? Do I stay back? He hesitated. Sean Clifford made him pay for the indecision. Penn State has a touchdown. They do bring pressure. And he got away from it, but throws incomplete. Brandon Smith, the blitzing linebacker. Another punt for the New Zealander, James Evans. Good kick this time, high, and a fair catch made by Jahan Dotson. Whoever has a hot hand early. Kevon Lee in there now, and it's intercepted. Raheem Lane, the safety, picks off Clifford and runs it back inside the 15-yard line. Here he is right here. He's going to kind of drift over here and then just look at the quarterback, Sean Clifford. He gets in position. He's reading the quarterback. Then he breaks on the football on the crossing route. Can't do it any better if you're the free safety. And Raheem Lane gets a big play for the Hoosier defense. This is a defense, Sean. Last year, they led the Big Ten with 17 interceptions. That was only their second interception of the season. For Indiana, that has just 46 yards so far. Stephen Carr taken down for a loss. On third down and 10, Penix takes off running. Penix goes down. Stephen Carr's the running back. Miles Marshall went in motion. Carr straight ahead, and that'll be close. Yvonne Lee shifted back into the backfield. Straight ahead through a hole. Yvonne Lee trying to break free. They'll take him down across the 50.
And Noah Kane is the more mature guy. He's going to get the the tough yardage, but that was good execution at the point of attack. Good blocking, play side and back side, and a back running north and south, and a big play. Now to a half minute remaining in the first quarter. Penn State leading seven and nothing. Lee down the far sideline. <laughs> down still on his feet inside the 10 and finally knocked out of bounds inside the five yard line to the left side eric wilson the left guard rasheed walker the left tackle started the year old five. clifford little shovel pass for a touchdown second and goal from just outside the seven clifford throws oh. and Terrific catch made by Dotson. Two guys that believe in each other. You throw this where only Jahan Dotson can make a play. I mean, that's pretty good coverage by Raheem, Raheem Lane. But you throw this ball where either my guy gets it or it goes out of bounds. He makes the catch. He gets the foot down. And you see the chemistry of Sean Clifford. Penix has to check it down to Carr, who's in trouble. And tackled to the line of scrimmage. Nice play by Joey Porter. He never kicked in a football game until he got to America. We mentioned he's from New Zealand. But in January 2020, he went to Australia to learn in that pro kick. 103 yards rushing so far for the Nini Lions. Clifford is taken down for a loss. Well, here he is right here. Now, he's supposed to be blocked. This is a design quarterback draw where the lead back is the blocker. And McFadden just destroyed Kayvon Lee. He just ran right through him and tackled Sean Clifford. Jordan Stout to punt. What a fair catch made by Reese Taylor. They raved about it. And, uh, and it was worth it. It was worth, worth the, the drive. 17 to hour drive round trip. <laughs> to go there. So you were invited to go. I enjoyed a socially distanced dinner with you, Sean. Yes, we did. Right here in downtown. A lot of people asking where Todd was. Stephen Carr dropped for a loss by PJ Mustafer. Good guy. He's played a lot, but watch him right in here. Number 97. Veteran guy gets right through the center guard gap for a tackle for loss. I mean, this is probably, this is by far the best he's played this season. Third down and nine. Two first downs for the Hoosiers so far. Penix incomplete. The Las Vegas Raiders, 3-0, and oh, take on the Los Angeles Chargers, who are 2-1, and one, an appealing matchup. Here's Jahan Dotson. First down before he got belted down at the 46-yard line by Raheem Lane. Warming up before the warm-up. Yeah, I, it's, it's warm up to the warm-up. Yeah. Five-man rush. Clifford on his back foot. Throws behind Dotson. Uh, you know, a lot like Devontae Smith did last year for Alabama. He, he didn't look like a real strong guy, but played much bigger than his size indicated. And that's why I thought the improvement of the running game was so critical. Because even if it wasn't a factor tonight, which it still is going to be, Iowa's defense is going to challenge him. That's the third first down for Indiana here in the first half. Penix has one out, has an open receiver, and a catch by Miles Marshall. Out and up, and they beat Tariq Castro Fields. He went for the out fake. They can get right back in the game here. Five man rush. Penix keeps backing up, lost one up, and it is picked up. If he's in bounds, Joey Porter has it, and it is Penn State ball. And his man, Freifogel, didn't get it. Yeah, it was almost like he was caught between trying to throw this away, throw it out of bounds, or let his guy make a catch. But because he couldn't step into the throw because of the pressure of Lucetta, the ball just hung. It hung up in the air for an eternity, and Porter came underneath it to make the interception. And he was in bounds, had possession. Third down and one, under three minutes to go in the half. Clifford throwing deep for Dodson, who could not make the over-the-shoulder catch. And 
Another clear catch made. This one by Ty Freifogel. You know, and see if they can make something happen. A running play and nowhere to go for Tim Baldwin. He fell forward for a half yard. James Evans to punt again. Jahan Dotson, a fair catch at the 16-yard line. I mean, if you're Penn State, why wouldn't you run the clock all the way down here? They snap it with 14 seconds on the clock. Clifford, 11 out of 23, passing for 96 yards. And he's on target to Dotson, who's swung down by Jalen Williams. Play tonight, and obviously upset. He's trying to pick his way to the line to make, and he gets stood up right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth down. And, and that formula is working. They haven't had the big pass plays, but they still lead 14 to nothing. Jordan Stout punts. Fair catch made by Ty Freifogel. Five-man rush for the Nittany Lions. Penix throws, caught, first down. He ripped up his knee. Didn't finish the year. Jack Tuttle started the last two. Nick Sheridan into the bag of tricks, and that didn't work. Kobe Hewitt dumped for a loss. One way, but Penn State was right on this play. Really, it was the pressure into the backfield. They lost two first team All Big Ten defensive linemen to the NFL draft a year ago. Jason Owe and Shaka Tony. Look out. Panic's in trouble. Manages to run free and get near the line of scrimmage. And he just doesn't show a whole lot of mobility on this play. No chance to get outside of Brandon Smith. There's no question he's a tough kid, mm -hmm. and he's competing, and he's trying the best he can. First play is third and 16. Welcome to the game, and he gets plastered by Emma Katie. Blew by the right tackle. Watch how quick he is off the ball. Caleb Jones, the right tackle. He's going to hold him and grab him. Didn't matter. Evacati got there and delivered the hit. He's kind of answered that challenge. Another punt by James Evans. Jahan Dotson with some room on the catch. He got belted at the 40. And he's another transfer. He came in from Auburn. Noah Kane squirts through the middle for another Penn State first down. Indiana's not showing much of a threat to score a couple touchdowns in the second half. The defense remains salty. That's Brian Fitzgerald again. Was out due to injury. He's a backup, but he's played a lot of snaps here tonight. Yeah, timed that blitz from the, from the edge perfectly. Pressure. Clifford takes off running. Clifford scampers to the sideline with a first down. Whether or not he got held by Rasheed Walker, the left tackle, but again, a good decision by Sean Clifford. You just have to be very disciplined rushing him. See the hit by Raheem Lane out the sideline, but Clifford just has a very good feel. See, here's the pressure right there. Could have maybe drawn a call against Rasheed Walker, but it doesn't take anything. And he said he was so impressed by Coach Allen in those talks. This could be a double pass. Maybe they're setting it up for the next time. That was a lateral. Dotson. Plenty of time for Clifford. And he throws for Dotson. Down the sideline and into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Well, again, watch Sean Clifford. Extend the play, but his eyes never leave downfield. He knows where the line of scrimmage is. As soon as he sees that linebacker come up, dumps the ball to Dotson, says, you run better than I do. It's still are. I guess once you were, you are. Nice play. There's Hendershot. Nice run after the catch as well. He's all the way into Penn State territory. 6-4-2-12, redshirt junior. Transfer from Utah where he never saw any game action. Nice throw there. Back shoulder to Ty Freifogel. Working one-on-one -on -one with Joey Porter. And because the ball was underthrown, the receiver has a chance. He stays in bounds. He actually had both feet in. Only needs one. Bryu in the mid-late 80s. They bring a blitz at Jack. He throws. Watts. 
some contact and an incomplete pass. At Western Kentucky last week to tie the single game Indiana record for field goals. And this one is blocked. It's the left side right here. They just collapsed this side. And let's see if that's 17 who gets a hand on the football. Yep, sure was. Penetration from Brandon Smith as well. Back to with his face mask. Kind of a low kick yeah. by. And I think he's going to be a coach for as long as he wants to be a coach now. Yeah. He's, I would he, not be surprised if he's a head coach. Yep. That guy has everything you're looking for. Theo Johnson, nice run after the catch. He has the ability to run routes, get down the field, stretch the field. Working on the linebacker, Marcelino McCrary Ball, who is hard inside on his technique. And this could be another key injury for Indiana. Raheem Lane, their leading tackler for the year. Or throw it down the field, and that time they got the completion. And it's the pass by Dotson. It's a completion to Parker Washington, and it's a first down just shy of the 20-yard line. Pass, I think, this season. He's done this before, a little reverse. John Clifford's kind of the blocker out there. He doesn't... For Clifford, boy, he has a great feel for where he can escape. Has the first down and slides down near the five-yard line. When to run. Most of the time when he scrambles, he's looking to throw. But he just knows he's got that knack of when to run. And run the football with Rudy Fields. Here he comes, and he goes down right at the line of scrimmage. Different under center, gave it to Lee, and he gets stacked up. Wow. Penn State trying to get big. Three tight ends in the game. Just excellent technique, fighting off the block, and getting in there by Cam Jones to make this play. Number four, right at the point of attack. McFadden there to help. It's the progressive pylon replay. You can see clearly. Great goal line stand by the Indiana Hoosiers. That was the 68th play. Third down and nine. Carr wrapped up. Got out of the end zone, but that's it. Lost a little. Boy, nice boot. One step and kick. That's really good. This guy's really good, too. <laughs> Dynamic player. If James Franklin was out. of all the money the Big Ten has. We should, this, there should be a camera every time. Amen. Those camera people are very smart. Clifford running out of time. Throws on the run with Micah McFadden. He gave him a hit. There's Jordan Stout trying a 50-yarder. And that one is good. His fourth career field goal of 50 plus. Now four out of eight from that distance. Everything good about the operation. Snap, hold, and drilled it. That didn't really represent what Penn State was. Didn't represent what Michigan was. A lot of resolve this year. Better locker room, better chemistry. And better results. But what a great story, a great journey to get here. Uh, really enjoyed visiting with him. He is out there, number 40, plays defensive end and linebacker. Tuttle runs again. He's the youngest of eight children. He's from Ottawa. Grateful to Jeff Root, who's the coach at Mercyhurst. Taken in by a host family. Jack Tuttle throws high off the hands of Peyton Hendershot. At a local gym, and one of his workout partners is Claude Giroux. Terrific player for the Philadelphia Flyers. They've become friends. 7.30 Eastern, the Penguins and the Lightning. Tuttle throws deep, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Brown. Like a sandlot return there. He's trying to juke out some of his friends. Back he and Sean Clifford, the only three time captains in Penn State football history. Yeah, hard to tell where that one was going. Tom Allen wanted to know. He probably didn't like the explanation.
Penn State leading 24 to nothing. Taquan Roberson, the backup quarterback, is in. He handed it off to John Lovett, who gets 10. 10 times for 58 yards. Now time ran effectively to avoid the rush. Love it again. He gets about 13 more to go drive to Hagerstown, Maryland for the interview. He wound up getting offered the job. He was making $45,000 a year at Chippensburg. And then, you know, getting to work with Ryan Day and getting to work with Tom Herman at, at Texas. I mean, he's he's been around some good coaches. Brian Fogel back for the stout punt. So Indiana, unless they can score here in the final 35 seconds, they're going to be shut out for the first time since 2000. First five games of this season, they've given up 60 points. And they're about to be 5-0 and on their way to Iowa for a massive showdown against a very talented Hawkeye. And now 1-65 all-time is Indiana against top five teams.